back here, and we are on vlog number 17. This is the morning of June 3rd at 7.40 in the morning. Um, nothing exciting happened yesterday, a uh, normal day, a uh, normal birthday day, I guess. Uh, of course, my wife got a cake and some this is and that, and we hung out, and I filled with D&D &D stuff after work, and kind of just relaxed and enjoyed, you know, doing nothing. But it was just another day. I had a lot of people wish me happy birthday, and to everyone that did, thank you very much. Um, now, going on today, uh, heading to work like a normal day, and then we have Katie coming over, uh, one of our friends who was in our wedding. She's been in, I think, Greens, Greensburg, Greensboro, uh, and it, she's a little closer, so she's going to come and hang out with us through the 4th, um, which should be fun. Uh, have someone over, you know. Don't have to drive five hours to go see people we know. So, it's pretty good. And then, so she's going to be here this afternoon, so I might have to duck out early from work to come home and be here when she gets here. Unlock the door, the normal things. And then we're going to, I thought we were going to hang out for the fourth with our friends, uh, but we, I don't think we've all formally planned anything yet. We discussed it when we went and had s'mores, but we have not actually had water this morning. Don't have no coffee yet. Not waking up. Trying to stay hydrated. Um, we never actually had like a formal, like, yes, we're going to go do this. Uh, so we need to text and do some arrangement and planning. And that's been about it. Um, let's see. I think I already talked about that. Yeah, I already talked about that. I got Monster Hunter. Um, I played actually a little bit of it. It's pretty good. I still need to figure out what class I'm going to play. I started with the bow because that sounded like something I'd like. But I think I'm going to try maybe some of the different lances and, uh, the more like the lance, I think there's a lance and shield I want to try out or something like that. And then the the insecty one sounds cool. But you know, pretty same old, same old. Let's sit back in the chair. Um, I did yesterday. I forgot about this part. Um, when I got home, I finally did some modeling on the ray gun. Uh, we sketched it out a while back. I don't know where. Oh, the book's in there. Um, and did that like time lapse of me sketching it. The red ray gun. So I went ahead and uh, got on Creo, which I didn't realize how long it's been since I've been on Creo. Uh, the Creo on my like my desktop computer uh, is Creo three. Uh, when I was finished at my bachelor's, I was using Creo five, uh, Creo five point to compare to three point uh, and it definitely like I can feel the difference. It's not like dramatically different, but there's like a, a few little things that make a huge difference. So I also uh, fiddled around with uh, Blender yesterday, like trying to understand more about the animating process and how to do animation. So that might be something we end up working with on here. Uh, I haven't decided. I was working on uh, how to pull in an STL into Blender and I was animating it to turn from the item it was into a sphere. That's, that's what I learned in like an hour and a half. Um, I have to understand more about keyframes and how to adjust them and uh, stuff like that that I do not understand currently because I'm not an animator. Um, but I'll figure it out. Uh, I was hoping to be able to use it in a way to create like interesting looking visuals. Um, but I still need a lot more practice before I feel comfortable enough in the program to actually use it in a day-to-day -day scenario but it's one of those little like things I could do in my free time to improve my overall like understanding of different like different programs um, which makes you more desirable in a lot of ways uh, in a like content creating way and in a you know I might want a different job eventually way so we're filling with those things uh, I wanted to use inventor and stuff but I think my subscription from being a student has expired, so that kind of sinks. Uh, I think it'd be one of those programs that in Creo, like for engineering, might be pretty similar. <laughs> but I think Inventor might be more user friendly, while Creo is definitely made for engineers. And while I have most of my time in Creo, and it's great um, having one that's a little friendlier, and you can maybe make more aesthetically pleasing ones and functionally pleasing um, was really like a like a hey you know 
you do it. But I have not. I did not get to use it before it expired. I still have Maya, and I still have uh, Blender, which are two that I want to get some more hours in and just, you know, get an understanding. Blender's so complex, though, with the amount of, like, transforming and, like, faces and manipulation along with the animation. Uh, it feels like there's two softwares, like, put together in there. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this morning. I got to get off here, get this up and edited. Uh, if you did enjoy, please hit the like button. It means a lot to me. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Also, on Mondays and Fridays, and sometimes in between, uh, I will be live on Twitch, uh, usually about 6 p.m. Uh, I put out a uh, tweet, usually, or, or a picture of Instagram. Uh, and you can find, I think, both those down below in the comments. At least I know Twitter's up, uh, Twitter's up there in the description, not the comments. Uh, so come hang, come and hang out. Uh, I've been playing Bioshock, and I think we're going to, after we beat through completely through Bioshock, we're going to take a break, do a little bit of Monster Hunter, and then I think we'll go to Bioshock 2. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.